There's been a huge surge in voter registration in swing states by people registering to vote without a picture ID. They're using the last four digits of a social security number, not just their social security number. It could be anybody's social security number. We have no idea. Texas, 1.25 million registrations going through the Social Security Administration's database in just the past three months. Arizona, swing state, 500,000 plus. Pennsylvania, 255,000 plus. It's kind of crazy what's happening in these states. All someone needs is the last four digits of a Social Security number to register. Joining us now, Robert McWitter, a constitutional and criminal law attorney, also ran for attorney general in Arizona at one point. Robert, uh, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you. We have any idea who all these people are who don't have IDs and are registering, what, quarter million people in Pennsylvania? Well, I have to assume they're people newly coming into the state or people who are newly um, of age to be able to vote. Um, so, you know, there, there's no need to believe that this is some nefarious kind of thing. These are people just registering the vote, which is what we want people to do. Well, you said you, look, no, no questions. Good to have people register to vote. You said you assume. Um, I, I get that some people may have not have IDs, but really a, a quarter million people in Pennsylvania, half a million people in Arizona in three months. Um, who all are legal residents and legally in the United States and legally have the right to vote, but just don't happen to have photo IDs? Well, yeah, I mean, look, we have a problem in this country with not getting enough people to vote and enough people to register the vote. I don't see this as being a particularly bad thing. Now, if there's this implication that because of those numbers, there's some kind of conspiracy to falsely register and do those kind of things, the evidence just isn't there um, that that would be any kind of any kind of problem in our system. Well, what, I, I guess if there's no laws about it, would it be there? Well, look, to really influence an election, uh, let's just take Maricopa County in 2020. Joe Biden won Maricopa County for the first time since Bill Clinton and since before that, uh, uh, Harry Truman. So, OK, so he wins by two percentage points. Uh, to be able to pull that off, he would have had to have a conspiracy of 48,000 people. That's what that two percent accounts for. So those registration numbers, yeah, OK, fine. Let's let's, you know, look at what these registration numbers are and that kind of thing. But to say that that somehow explains some kind of conspiracy that's going to affect an election, the evidence just isn't there. Um, generally, conspirators are not that well organized to be able to, you know, impact 48,000 people. Well, yeah, but the, 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 the margin of the popular vote in Arizona was 11,000 people. Um, mm -hmm. You think about the, mar the margin of, of Donald Trump's victory in Pennsylvania um, in 2016 um, was a little bit bigger than that. Michigan, a little bit smaller than that. Um, we put the number, if, if, if a quarter of the people that have registered to vote without an ID in just the past three months, um, maybe aren't conspiracy folks, but they're illegal immigrants who are being encouraged to vote, that's more than enough to swing the election, isn't it? Oh, absolutely not. Look, there is a specific federal statute that makes it illegal for an immigrant to vote. In the entire four years of the Trump administration, nobody was ever prosecuted under that statute. Um, there is just right, but, not. But if we're not, if we're not going to ask for photo ID for people, and we all know there's a long list of things you need to have a photo ID to do, but if we're not going to ask for photo ID of, the, of, of anybody, how would we ever know? Well, I, I don't. I just don't think photo ID would be the end on be all. I mean, there are people who are undocumented in this country who get photo IDs for whatever. I mean, if that was your point to get a full photo ID so you could register to vote, so you could change the outcome of an election, that's a that's a process you could do regardless of whether you have photo IDs. Now, if you want to have some kind of objective mechanism, people sign up and things like that. I mean, I suppose that's not objectionable, but. To put this as part of a greater narrative that somehow there is widespread fraud, certainly widespread fraud on the part of people who are in the country either as legal or aliens without papers, the evidence just doesn't support that. Um, usually right. people without papers want to stay under the radar. They don't want to vote. They don't want to get in trouble and get to the attention of anybody. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below. 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.